Hey guys, welcome back to the hello, show. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the scenario. Mm, 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 We're back for another week. It's hot outside. Jesus. Hot is, hot is an understatement. What they say, Hell's Porch? Listen, the way that my hair does not cooperate in this weather, mm. I'm about to get braids. I can't take it. I love like giving my hair a break yeah. and letting it, but step outside, you 15 minutes, you're not cute no more. I know it's hot when you're in the shade standing still and sweating for sure for sure you're not even exerting not- <laughs> any energy and you're just like Phew. and like, like maryland is the dmv is humid yeah it's very humid oh my gosh i went i walked to the metro i took the metro because i go to a gathering spot in dc mm-hmm. and the metro was like right in front of the gathering spot and then there's a metro right in front of my house so i'm like instead of sitting in traffic i'm just gonna take the metro yeah I was like, the first day I was like drenched. I was like, and it's not even that far. And I was like, what in the world? Do you think that we sweat more because we're not used to being I don't know. outside like that? Like when you think about it in the summer, you're in air conditioning probably a lot if you That's drive. You know what I mean? So it's like, I can't handle this. But I, my I second day, I was like shade, like scooting on the sides <laughs> of the building, <laughs> hopping Wendy's. <laughs> Cool off for a second, then like go back to the next spot, like hopping to AC spots like everywhere because it's hot. It's ridiculous. No, and I have built in insulation, so it don't take long. (laughs) It does not take long. That's why I stay hydrated. I drink so much water because I got my own. I have my own little jacket on all the time. But this is my last thing. You know what I hate, though, is like because I feel ungrateful is that when you are hot and then you get into a place and you're like, man, they got the AC. What's in there? It is. (laughs) Freezing. I wanted it to be 68, not 33. <laughs> like, find the happy medium. You feel bad. It's like, <laughs> like I'm glad y'all blasting. It was a little too cold. Yes, 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 yes. It's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> Bree was like, you want to walk with me to get coffee? I'm like, no, nah, baby, my head ain't going to let me do that. It's, it's 98 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm sure even if you had braids, it'll still be like. I don't went. I just went. laid my baby hairs back down when I came back. <laughs> But listen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Real Love Scenario. Yes. We have another scenario. Shall we, we get into it? Yeah, we should get into it. I love it. this person's name. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood. Hey, guys. I would like some advice on approaching a guy. So I met this guy in person, and we are now friends on Instagram. He reached out to me asking out of curiosity what I do based on what's in my bu- in my bio. I responded, he hearted my response, and that was it. I was hoping for more conversation. Another time, he reached out to me to repost something pertaining to his podcast. But again, that's where the conversation ended. I want to shoot my shot, and I'm trying to figure out how to go about it. Is it weird if I reach out on Instagram to say we don't know each other, but I'm interested in him, or should I try a different approach? I will say, I never really get nervous around guys, but this one makes me a little nervous. I love his podcast, and based on what he talks about, I really get more intrigued. Even when he mentions things about himself, I can relate. Please advise on how I can make this approach. Hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Hollywood, for writing in. You sure you ain't talk about Dre? You know he got a wife, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's just kidding. Just, the podcast. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. What if it was? That would be so. That would be. So you about to give, <laughs> give her the game to slide in your DM just for you to say no. Listen, if y'all haven't seen Dre's clip about why he don't cheat, go check that out. <laughs> let me let me reread this. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Friends on Instagram. That would be crazy. well. You would, you've never reached out to anybody to repost anything for for the, for the show. No, I, I don't okay. do that. I don't do stuff. You think like that, that might be the thing to throw it off though a little bit? Maybe it's possible. Don't you know when things happen and it has you? You knew you didn't did, do it, but then it has you start to question yourself. Like, like, did, did I ask somebody to repost one of like, our? Did clips? I do did that? I- Hey, okay, <laughs> Hollywood. Let's just hope that you know. See how people can plant thoughts in your head it's sometimes, I'm sorry. and it just makes you think. Like, I'm being like, messy at the top of the episode. I'm being messy. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Boo. Let's focus. So as you guys know, we'll answer her, you know, yes. the, we'll give our opinion, our final opinion on the scenario towards the end of the show. But we just want to pose the question first yes. or pose some questions that generally relate to this topic. Yeah. And hopefully you can learn something from it or Absolutely. get some perspective from it. You can so, learn something. I'll ask you the first question, Rhonda. Okay. How should you properly ask someone out via DM? What is the, the mm. etiquette? What is the proper way? 
I feel like you should approach somebody no matter where you're approaching them like you would if you were in person. Like if you saw somebody walking down the street and you were attracted enough to want to like start up a conversation to get their phone number to maybe date them, what would you say? Like I think because you're typing, like people tend to think that it's some sort of like slick I mean, there's always, <laughs> if you're not slick, just in real life, is don't try it on, in the DM. Like, you need to be able to be consistent with your approach. So it could be as simple as, hey, how are you? I'm so-and-so. I find you attractive. I would like to get to know you more. Mm. Like, it's really that simple. That's what yeah. I would say in person. I mean, I, I like to think I'm a little witty, you know, <laughs> just a little bit. But, yeah, just like be normal. Like, don't, don't do or say things that you wouldn't actually do or say in person. Got you. Yeah, keep it straight. What about you? I don't think you should ask anybody out via DM. I think that no. DMs are reserved for light flirtation and like okay. innocent conversation. Okay. But when it comes to asking somebody out on a date or like, you know, going somewhere, mm-hmm. that should be done offline. Like hmm. outside of that. I don't but think But you know people feel like DMing and texting <clears throat> Are one in the same. Like people don't even like giving out their phone number now. They like, oh, if you want to reach me, here's my social handle, and you can message me there. Yeah, but I think that's even better because a number is another level of commitment, right? Yeah, it's what it's do you. you want a commitment? Well, then we ain't going out. <laughs> <laughs> Dre said it's relationship or bust, baby. No, it's just like <laughs> if if you won't even give me your number, then you're definitely not interested enough in me to go out with me. Mm that's what i would think like listen i personally would prefer that you reach me on my phone number because just in case it goes crazy i can block you much more easily like i feel like that's just quicker with my instagram now you can access it even if i block you or one you page can find different you can find different ways to still see me like get the number stay off my social plus people really like poorly perceive you sometimes from what they see on social media or they assume you're a certain way and it's like this is not the totality of my life so you shouldn't use this to shape your form shape or form your opinions about me i get that i mean now that i think about it i guess you can ask somebody like hey Mm -hmm. you know or like say i would love to take you out or something like that but i just you know i'm I'm big on like the app is the the prior or the the first step in it but like you need to learn how to take that thing off the app yes like and i like that generate conversation outside of it yeah um but so your go-to when it comes to signing the dms is just straight up like hey excuse me i'm interested in you yeah so you feel like if somebody's interested in somebody that's the approach they need to take yeah i mean unless again if you're just more witty or clever like you know if you saw that they posted something or you're you're responding to their story and let's say it's just like a cute picture of them and you respond to that like you are so handsome i would love to like have a drink with you so i have a question is that is that the response that you would give or the way that you approach it for a cold like there's you know in sales you do cold calls yes. where there has been no interest expressed mm-hmm. but you're just reaching out just without any interest would you do that the same way than if somebody was like slightly like you know liking stuff commenting back funny stuff like you would approach it the same way yeah i don't really like the breadcrumbing thing where you just like do a little bit over time like you put hard eyes this week and then you go like three of my pictures next week and then in a couple of days you might like if you want to go out, if you like me, like don't breadcrumb it. Like I maybe it's because I feel like I'm grown. Like come on, like mm-hmm. let's just like move this thing along. Plus, I'm super big on like physical energy. I feel like I need to. We have to get out of this like space yeah. so that I can even really see if I am interested in you for real. Like I'm not gonna really know that until I can talk to you and like be around you. I sometimes you can't tell on Instagram if a man is. Short at all. Very true. What if he doesn't really post pictures of himself? There are guys who don't do just that. People, just in general, yeah, who don't do that. Like, we got to get off of the app. I could have very well seen enough to be like, okay, cool, I'm interested. But what if when we get together, like, all your pictures on social media, your mouth is closed. And then I meet you out and you're missing five of your front teeth. <laughs> Then we could just shut this thing down. But then I let you breadcrumb me for three weeks on the app. And now Didn't I'm like, you damn. you were teethist. Yeah, teeth are important. (laughs) Teeth are important. I mean, having them is more than half the battle. Yeah, I mean, I I think that, like, I think the cold 
calling or cold Instagram slide is a little different than like, oh, you've been because I think that you have different situations where I think, you know, in this situation mm-hmm. with the Hollywood uh, I don't know why I thought it was a dude at first because I know like dudes get yeah. to go by Hollywood. I feel like that's um a character's name on like a show. Oh yeah, and it's a guy on Queen Sugar. His mm. name was Hollywood. Got you. Yes. Yeah. So maybe that's why. But like, I think that there's a there's a different mm-hmm. there's a way mm-hmm. that you could like invite somebody out if you're not sure that they're mm-hmm. interested in you, but. Like, so you sent some signals via DM probably, right? Yeah. They responded to some, didn't respond to others, mm-hmm. but you're trying to like figure out like how, you know, mm-hmm. they are and how they feel about you. I think that you can, and this is a suggestion <laughs> that I give, is you have something that's like a get together or something like that. And then you invite somebody to a group kick it mm-hmm. and you kind of make it sound optional. It's like, hey, I'm doing this thing, mm-hmm. inviting some people over if you're free you should come through mm. and that works. Ner- and I, I, here's the thing. It's, that's, it's not that it doesn't work. It just wouldn't be my approach. Yeah. Yes. So that's, but I it, mean, that, it, I feel like that, that could work. that's the, if you aren't ready to Rhonda it <laughs> and be like, yo, what's son, up? what's up, baby boy? How you doing? <laughs> what's good? Like I see the Moochie daddy shorts, baby. What you doing on Friday night? <laughs> oh, if you're not ready for the Rhonda approach, you could take that approach. It's like, yo, yeah. like I'm having a little get together. Mm-hmm. You should come through if you're free. And then that allows number one, you know, it's no pressure. It's not like you're saying like, hey, I like you or come out or anything like that. Then if they do come, then, you know, like, hey, maybe, maybe. You know, there's some interest here, or, you yeah. know, and then it's in a setting to where it's like you could still kind of fill each other out with all the pressure not being on you two having That's to true. like That's true. communicate. That's true. Well, well, let me ask you this. What is something that you absolutely shouldn't do to try to get a date out of the DM? Like what's a... What's the way, like, don't do that? No one's going to, like, give you a date if you do that. That's tough because there's some crazy people out here who <laughs> like certain things. Like, it's certain. I, I've seen some approaches where dudes just be, like, mad disrespectful. But then some women, like. Like it. Like it. Like, they feel they like that aggression or, like, something about it. I don't mm-hmm. know. I, let me tell you about I can personally talk about my my DMs. Yes, let's talk about your DMs. What I do not like. I express this to people all the time. <laughs> I don't. This is and yeah, this is just in general. Don't just send hey or hello or <laughs> things like that. Like I hate that. Like they said, what do you want? What and do get you to want? It. If you send me a DM, I don't care what it's about. Get straight to the point. Like straight to the point. If you say hello, how are you? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Like I'm not answering that. I don't know you. Right. Ask what you want. And then I get to determine if it's worth a response for me. Okay. So that's what I would say. You know, one is like, if you're going to sign in the DMs, get to the point. Like, yes. like Rhonda said, if it's just like, hey, I feel like I think you're really attractive. I would love to, you know, have a conversation with you, mm-hmm. get to know you, like get to the point. Don't be, hey, hello, what's up, beautiful. Like, I don't just get to the point. Yeah. Say how you want to, you know. Just get to the point. What I don't like is, un- which I don't also don't like this on text messages. Like, don't forcefully, like, like the nudes. Like, I swear, I've had people Nude slide pictures? in my. Yes, I've had. I heard like, that a- happens a lot with women. Like women send them or no, women like receive women them. No, like women receive them. Yes, all the it's time. such a weird thing. It's like, how you really just gonna plop your penis in my DM? Like, boom. It may not even be theirs. Even worse, <laughs> even 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 for because why do you have some picture of somebody else's penis? I need to I need to know. Actually, I don't need to know. That's your business. <laughs> That's your business, baby. I mean, catfishing was a thing, so maybe there's they just found it on a porn. But yeah, I don't I don't know how that translates. Like I don't know who would get an unsolicited penis picture and be like, yeah, I'm gonna give him a chance. Like that's just wild to me. Yeah, I think there are people out there that do. That's wild. That's just. I feel like you you can be crazy and do crazy stuff the more like maybe famous, rich, well something like where the people like you can do no wrong. But you just just the, the average guy, please don't send like unsolicited new pictures of yourself or just it doesn't even have to be your penis. It could just be like your chest. Like, why am I being sent this as your means of talking to me? Like your yeah. first message is like. 
bam, look at me. Check me out. That's weird. Like, just talk. <laughs> I also don't like, <clears throat> I don't like when people start talking to you without a greeting. Like, I don't like that in general. That's not just a dating yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, like, my hello, and then boom, And then say what you want. Good morning. And let us differentiate what I'm saying. What I was saying was just saying hello and nothing and else. And nothing, yeah. Like, if you say hello, boom, or like, hey, how you doing? Boom, and yeah. tell what you got to say, then that's, you know, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just, this is just like, don't be weird. Like, again, if we were out in the street, what I first said at the top of this, mm-hmm. you would not just walk up to a woman while you out with her and just be like, when you just see her sitting just, at the bar and just be like, bow. Some what dudes you, do it. What you think? You like that? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? You would never holler at somebody like that. So why are you in my DMs like this? I will report your ass so fast. Report sexual abuse. Yeah, I don't I don't get that. Yeah, I know that like, a lot of women get that. that super whack. Yeah. Super duper whack. So I don't know. I just think you should be normal. Try to strike up a conversation if you're not ready to fully ask, but just get to the point with me. Okay. I don't I don't want to waste my time in the DM. Straight to the point. Yes. Okay, let me let me ask another question for you. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you feel like social media is a great place to meet people? Um romantically. I I don't necessarily love it, but I actually feel like social media is such a major part of our lives today. Like it is really a community. You can see people that you may not see because you don't go out a lot or you don't um, frequent certain spots. So you would never see them if it weren't for social media. So I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's very similar to a dating app. It's like you see a person's pictures or videos, you probably see a little bit about them in their bio, or you gathering some things about them from what they post. Why not? I mean, I don't think it's a terrible place. Hmm. It wouldn't be my first choice, but why? I mean, I think it's fine. I don't really, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. I think it's okay. What about you? I think social media is a great place to meet people. Okay. Romantically. Yes. Okay. Not a great place to date. It's not not a great place to date people, though. It's not for dating. It's great to meet, but like I said, taking taking it off. Offline. Yeah. I think it's a great place to meet people. I yeah. think it's very similar to shopping to me in the evolution of shopping. Is that like at one point when you shop, you can only shop at the places that were near you mm-hmm. and around where you lived. And mm-hmm. those were the options that Y'all you had. Y'all know Dre is good for setting some shit up. Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Let's talk about the <laughs> online shopping experience. And the shopping. And and you could only shop at the places that were around you. Right. But now with the evolution of the internet and the introduction of the internet, you now have more options. I could buy a shirt from China. From anywhere, right? Yes. You, you have more options to shop. Mm-hmm. However, just like in a relationship and just like with shopping, the only way to know if something truly fits is by what? Trying it on in person. Yes. So although you still have access to more mm-hmm. because of the Internet mm-hmm. and because of social media, you still need to bring that relationship in person to truly know if that is a fit for you. But isn't that like a double edged sword? Like in my head, right back when using your example of before the evolution of online shopping where I now can buy a shirt from hundreds of places Mm -hmm. all over the world and it can come to me. And like you said, it doesn't mean anything until I try it on and make sure I like it. Do you feel like though, when it comes to dating, this is kind of like, because people have so many options, they are constantly like, well, I got this one over here. I got that one over there. I can get one from over here. Do I really need to choose one when like literally there's so many at my fingertips? Like before I had to deal with the people that I ran into in town in my school, at my job. But now I can I can grab a woman that lives 300 miles away from me. Like and another one over here and the one that's in town and that one. It's like you don't even know that you can have something until it's presented to you. Like if you get a tray with two cookies on it. You can only choose them two cookies. Mm-hmm. But if you get a tray with 20 cookies on it, it's like, huh, can I get that one and that one and that one? It's like you have more options. So does that make it harder, I guess, to really narrow it down when you have so many choices? I think naturally, yes, it can make it harder. Mm-hmm. Um, but it also, like you said, it's a double-edged sword. It also gives you more opportunities to meet different people because it's like maybe in that 
in that back in the daytime where it was just the people that were around, mm -hmm. nobody there really fit what you really want. But maybe you're settling because you feel like these are all the options that all, you have. Yeah, yeah. But now you have like, what if I don't eat macadamia nut cookies and that's all you got? Like, that's not what I eat. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But if you got chocolate snickerdoodle, I don't know, rainbow sprinkle, like then, mm -hmm. you you know, you, I get to kind of see like, OK, yeah, I like this one and I don't like mm -hmm. that one. So it gives me more options for what I like and yeah. what I rather have. But I just think that people who look at it as not being a great thing is like when it comes to everything else that the Internet has helped give you access to, you're fine with. Mm -hmm. You like the different shopping options. Yeah. You got 15 things coming from Amazon tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it's like you got all these different things that are right, happening right, right. and all the access you have now for the internet but when it comes to meeting people you're just like oh yeah it's a bad thing that we have access to all these people it's like no like honestly even ron and i listeners mm -hmm. uh we're just talking about having different guests on the show and stuff like that and mm -hmm. the people that we're talking about and have expressed interest are dope but without social media i don't they're not even in this state right, in, right, on right. this coast yeah, yes. you know what i mean like no, it's a so it allows community. it allows yes. me to have access to people i never mm -hmm. would have had access to yeah um to build a relationship with and mm -hmm. have opportunities so 100%. i think it's a great place to meet people however i don't think it's a great place to date people like you should not keep it on the app you shouldn't have this relationship through the app mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you need to take it offline and build a relationship that way yeah no yeah that i am and i think you are too although younger like old school in that way i feel like i've run into and you know you, i'm just glad you're not out here in these streets no more i'm just thankful i'm glad too honestly because lord knows <laughs> yeah like it's a lot of really good things going on in the streets but it's also a lot of really stupid things going on in the streets and i feel like social media while it is amazing and it has done so much for like the world that we live in and has given us exactly what you're talking about the ability and the access to connect to so many people i think in some ways it has regressed people's ability to like have human to human in-person interactions. It's almost like people don't exactly know how to talk anymore. People don't know how to be witty and be charming. They can just sit there and curate looking witty and charming. Like they're not actually that way. They can slide a filter on it. They can get a caption from somewhere else. I mean, for God's sakes, they have apps that will generate a caption for you where yeah. i'm thinking this came out your head <laughs> you using artificial intelligence to make yourself sound cool or dope or intelligent because yeah. you are like lacking that ability in real life so i think that's one of the things that maybe i shouldn't blame it on social media but that's what i feel like it is we are so regressed when it comes to how to do this in-person thing it's like we we flourish better if i can type it to you well i, I think that's all of our skills just in general are regressing and that's because of technology mm. i think that our math like our math is going to like remember and you know a different time he's trying to me. tiptoe into it he's trying to y'all see him tiptoeing into it he was like i'm trying to say this because she was in school 10 years before me <laughs> when she had to do long format <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i was still in the in the class of like you had to like long division long yes. multiplication like you know all by hand would not like, know how to make that little yeah that little, it's called something i don't know what it's called but that little thing where yeah. you put the number outside and you mm -hmm. like do the division on the top like all that handwriting classes to write in cursive they've taken cursive out of schools book reports were by hand yes. like yes. note like on the school syllabus it was like loose leaf paper yep. like all that stuff and i think all of our skills even spelling like every all yes. of our skills are regressing mm -hmm. because of social media and that's i mean not social media because of technology yep. and that's because it's put itself in a place to where we don't have to use we don't those have skills. to do it we don't have to do we it we don't have to do it so we don't we don't but anything that you want to have or be good at, you have to sharpen it. You have to that's keep, true. you have to use the tool. So that's why I don't like, if I meet somebody, regardless of where I meet them, if even if I give them my phone number, there's some men that will literally stay in my text messages, like they'll never call. And if I notice that you're doing that, like, and or if I call you and then we get on the phone and you don't have a lot to say, I'm, I'm pretty much disinterested because yeah. I like to converse. Like, I, in some ways, I'm a sapiosexual, so I have to have a mental 
connection to you to feel sexually drawn to you. Like I can physically be attracted to you, but that's going to wear off. Like you good looking, but what else are you doing to stimulate me? So the fact that there's so many people that don't have that, sometimes it's just like, oh my gosh, like what happened? Well, it's just, we have it. It's just artificial. It's not real. Like if y'all could talk like, in emojis a hundred percent, we would probably be fine. It's like we as humans are what they would call herd animals or social like we're social, we're, beings. we're social beings yeah and social media has given us an artificial way of connecting yes from a social standpoint absolutely but there's no foundation to it there's no, no substance it's yes. no anything to it it's it's very like i said artificial it's not it real is. it's content it's very <laughs> it's very content based yes okay so have you ever been like approached by a woman has a woman ever like asked you out on a date via dm period has a woman ever asked me out on a date? Like I've been approached by women. Yes, mm -hmm. I have been approached by women. Um, how do you? How do most women approach you, and you pick up on the fact that they're like trying to like pick you up? I've had it in so many different ways. Um, I've had the look. Um, What's the look look like? <laughs> If you're listening, you might as well go ahead over to YouTube so you can see what's the look look like, Dre. Oh man. So it's funny because let me let me put some context here. Okay. It's funny because a lot of people, we have friends, right? And we know people who they will say, like, oh, I think that person like is mm -hmm. feeling me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you like they ain't feeling, they ain't feeling you. you. <laughs> no, not at all. But right. then you have like, I'm that person who like I can tell, like. Mm -hmm. very quickly yeah that somebody is like interested just off of a look mm -hmm. or like uh <laughs> so it's like <laughs> you know what i'm talking about it's the, i do but i want you to educate the people i want you to show them what the look looks like it's the double take oh okay the double take we that's just experienced this recently when we were together <laughs> we were together right and we're walking back to the car we were leaving um a hosting gig we had and we're like, I feel like we were approaching we're, them and I think they heard us approaching. Yeah, they heard us. You know, you hear somebody behind you, you 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 look go to back. look. So it was two women. One of them looked back, and then she was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Ugh. honestly, don't know if this is my man or not. Just did not care. <laughs> like, Grant, you know, Dre and I, we just walking normal. But you don't know, she had no shame about it. Like, she said, Oh, I'm sorry. And we were <laughs> She wasn't even in the way. Look, it's like you were lost by it all. Like, holy cow. She was like, I'm sorry. I stared and I I, I just I just got overwhelmed. So the double look. The double look. Okay. Yeah. You've experienced that in my life. Like you've seen that. I've seen that. Yes. yes. It's so that's how I know number one if somebody's like interested. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I've experienced the double look as well. Like yeah. getting a double look from like, a guy. It's like oh, Yeah. Shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I like the double look. I also have had women buy me drinks like send it to you like y'all are at me? a spot and you get sometimes and okay. also come up to me and okay. like buy me a drink okay um i've had women just come directly up to me mm -hmm. and like i think you're so beautiful mm -hmm. or always excuse me when i'm out get the beard thing like mm -hmm. oh your beard and like you do women handsome. just like go to grab it yes they do that is so weird. Y'all got to stop doing that. It's like. It's also a pandemic. Still COVID. It's a pandemic. Stop They do that. go to grab it. Um, yeah, I've been approached in so many different ways. I don't know if that's every man's like experience, but I've been mm -hmm. approached from like, you know, the, the slightest thing to mm -hmm. the most like, mm -hmm. yo, what's up? Like I was in Houston with my boys and we were there for a trip mm -hmm. and we were having a good time. Like there were some girls outside just chatting it up. Yeah. And a girl just came up to me. And she was like, like, I really want to have sex with you tonight. Do you want to have sex with me? And I was Damn. just like, Oh my God. I was like, I love um, a woman and know what she want. Do what I was God like, leave. Well, that's a no for me. Um, <laughs> why? I'm married. Oh, this is why you were married. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is sorry. recent. Like, <laughs> like about like a, 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 Maybe I can't remember when I was in February, maybe. Yeah. I was in Houston or March. Yeah. It was like, and my cousin was just looking like, how? Like, what? How like, does that happen to you? <laughs> T 
teach me your ways. How does this happen? And to I was you? just like, no, um, no, 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 thank you. But yeah, I've had it all types of. So does it turn you like, let's say it's a woman pre-marriage, you know, yeah, yeah, played yeah. It like you single. Do you are you OK with a woman kind of coming to pick you up like like sliding in your DM and or just asking you out or sending you a drink? I don't mind a woman initiating a conversation. Okay. I don't want a woman to ask you on a date. Ask me on a date. Okay. So Why? if you initiate a conversation, because I feel like you don't need to do that. Mm. You don't need to ask me out on a date. If you initiate conversation, then you'll know, you'll be able to gauge my interest from there. And then I got it. Like, okay. You, so, whoa. so it's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. come through. He so said, I, I got this. And I think people, like a lot of women have trouble understanding w- the difference between going at somebody and initiating a conversation. Mm-hmm. Like initiating a conversation can just be like, oh, what did you order to drink? Like, I, you know, I, I'm thinking yeah. of ordering something different. Mm-hmm. It's just initiating the, the, what it says, the conversation between two people. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with that. I've had women who, when I was single, like DM and even if it's like a heart emoji or something like that, or like, you know, something to where it just initiates it. And then it's like me, I'll then go and like bring it home if that's what I want. If that's if that's what you want. Exactly. But I don't think as a woman, you need to ask me out. So is it safe to say that if a woman initiates a conversation with you and you engage in the conversation with her, but then by the end of the conversation, you don't ask for an additional means to communicate with her and or like, you know, I would like to see you again. How can I, is it safe to say that you're not interested? Like a guy's not interested? Um, no. Here we go. I think that what it means is that for whatever reason for right now, this doesn't make sense for me. So I could be in something and still be interested, but it's like what my current situation, this just this wouldn't make sense for me right now, but I'm interested. I could, I like you. Mm-hmm. You, you're attractive to me. I love the conversation, but yeah. at this moment, what I'm actually in right now, yeah, doesn't make sense for me to move this along any further. And I think that that's something that people get confused about because you never know somebody's situation, mm-hmm. especially if they're a stranger. You don't know if they go like you don't know somebody's situation. So somebody can give you conversation, be talking to you because they are interested in you, but then their situation may prevent them from really taking that any further. Mm-hmm. But you would be looking at it sometimes like, oh, I thought they were interested in me, but they seem that they're not because yeah. they didn't ask. But it's like, no, they could be interested in you. It's just whatever they have going on currently at this moment, they, they can't, they pursue, can't it. pursue it. Interesting. So, so, so then yes, kind of, sort of like, I kind like I might be interested in you, but it's nothing that I can do with exactly with this. It's nothing time. I can do with this. At and this time. or I'm really not interested in you. That's why I didn't ask. Because what if it's like a chance? Like it's a I'm in a place. You're in a place that we may not see each other again. Like I was out on a Wednesday night. Oh, I've mean, never seen you in my life before. Yeah, you got to measure. You got to measure the situation and determine. Like you know, I still I remember this to this day. I'm grown. I'm married. Nothing would have came of this. But I remember the church school conference when I was like 13 or 14. There was this girl that I thought was cute. Mm -hmm. And I still regret not asking for a number because I was like nervous Mm -hmm. and scared. And I thought that I would see her again. But then she disappeared. And then it's like all the churches come together. So I don't know what church she went to or anything like that. And at that time, social media wasn't a thing. Right. Right. Um, So it was just like that person was gone forever. I never, you know, did it. But in those situations, you got to gauge like. Anytime you make a decision in life, you got to determine what's the worst case scenario, what's the best case scenario. Okay. Worst case scenario, if they just say no, go about your day, mm-hmm. what's, that's, that's the worst that could happen. Yeah, that's the worst that could happen. Uh, but like the best case scenario is that you actually meet somebody worth meeting. And mm-hmm. it, so you got to measure in those times. But that's why I think social media is great going back to that is because social media now serves as this buffer point yeah. to where you are able to it's it's, it's good and bad to yes. a certain extent. Yes. But it's Just at least yeah. it's at least a buffer point to be able mm-hmm. to get some type of contact with getting contact with somebody um, without necessarily having their number. The issue is, and the downside of it is, is that then you are now evaluated by that. And solely that a lot of times it's like somebody will talk to you. And especially this, because I see this happen. A lot of guys happen to some friends of mine too. Mm -hmm. When you ask for a woman's number and she says, Hey, you could take my social media. Yes. 
she is going to look at your social media to determine how a lot of times she is going to proceed with you. Correct. <laughs> it's a part it's of the like, investigation it's like, process. But off rip, you off rip, it's like, mm, you can take my social media. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, all right, once they look at you and it's like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'll follow I feel my- like I I feel like if that is a person's response, I don't think that's a bad thing. I really, really don't because of how much social media is now used as a means of communication. I feel like do you how do you feel about the concept that social media is kind of like your resume? Mainly your Instagram is really like your resume. Yes. I don't like it because again, people use their social media for different reasons but i do think it can be very telling i do do you remember those days where you were in relationships and you had like the pictures of people you was dating in your wallet like yes (laughs) yes you you had to show your friends you you had to you had to be like okay let me uh Mm -hmm. yeah this is the one right here here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah absolutely like like social media helps eliminate all that we don't gotta carry the pictures around with us who gonna be there profile 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 <laughs> dog i don't send think, me to friends I, yeah i don't think i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing i think it's a i don't think people should see it as i guess what i'm saying is i don't think you should see it as a form of rejection because every single thing that you can do without instagram or without social media you can you can do with your phone it's a rejection to a certain extent to a certain extent it's a rejection to your I want to say appearance, but essentially it's a rejection to your initial appearance Mm. and initial approach or not. I think it is because if you thought somebody was sexy and fine and look really good and you was like, "Mm," and they came up and asked for your number, you give them your number, but you looked at somebody and you're like, "Mm," you take my social media. (laughs) And then if you see that, Oh, this person is a real estate investor and you know, they, they got some stuff going on. Entertain it. What's going on here? <laughs> That's what that is. It's an initial rejection of their appearance. I need to. I need to get more information, basically, before I can exactly actually give you my. Number. As you know, with credit, some people get exception like that. And like we still time. evaluating your application. Check back in a couple days. <laughs> we'll be following up. We with need some you more to send a little more proof of income. <laughs> this is not adding up. Your score is not adding up. Okay, you you might you, you, you might have turned me a little bit on it. It's a rejection of somebody's initial appearance. Yeah. And like I, I said, I am not a fan of giving out my social in replacement of my phone number. I would rather you actually have my number. Mm. I really would. I'd rather you have my number. Um. So listen, we have to answer yes. how Miss Mama should approach this. And and then again, let me take that back because after you said it, I I've been thinking about it. Hollywood could be a guy. Hollywood actually could be a guy. It's it's no way to really tell in the way that this is written. Like, it's no way to tell that. So, could be either. But Rhonda just throwing out all types. Of I'm just saying, it's no way to know that from how, from how this was written. First, Hollywood was trying to get at me. <laughs> now he's trying to get at me. <laughs> Like, <laughs> or he's not trying to get at you at all. He's trying to get at the guy he wrote in about. Or maybe or she is a girl. Knows? Or maybe Hollywood is a girl. I'm sorry, conspiracy theorists, a little bit. Um, I would say this to Hollywood: Number one, approach him just like you would, like anything that you wanted. If you want something, one, be open to the fact that they may not see you that way. Because I will say, like to Dre's point, which was very good. Like once you initiate a little bit, I got the rest of it. If I really like you too, like Mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of it as the man. So I'm a little concerned that like he messaged you and asked you what you did based on what's in your bio. For sure. And then that was the end of the conversation. He just hearted it. And that was that. And then the next time he reached out to you, it was to promote his podcast not to be like, so where are you from? What do you like to do? And blah, 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 blah. It was like, I don't know. He seems, he kind of seems not interested, but he also could very well just not be thinking of you in that way at this time. Maybe mm-hmm. he's just not connecting to it. But if you still want to shoot your shot, just talk like you normally would. How do you meet anybody else? You introduce yourself. You say, hey, I'm interested. You lead with maybe a compliment or something like that and just see how it goes. I think women... I don't mind shooting my shot and I also don't mind actually asking a guy on a date. It's not something that I've done 
a lot of, but I've done it. Mm -hmm. I've definitely done the sending a drink approach. Um, I've done the striking up a conversation and then laying back and like seeing if you just ask me. I have seen a guy out and asked him for his phone number. Like, yeah, I see you again. I see y'all in the Muji daddies. Sometimes <laughs> it just looks so good. I'm like, hey, gotta, gotta just, yeah. But a lot of times I will just compliment and lead with conversation and yeah. just let it flow and mm -hmm. see what happens from there. So that's what I would do compliment, let it flow. And see what happens. See if he gives you a little bit more than he's been giving you. Because he ain't been giving much. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if he's really. I don't know if he's really into it. My advice for Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I think that dude's not interested. Honestly. Because um, if he was. if it, he The opportunity has is there for him to approach you. Or you open the door for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and like Rhonda said, interested in you at this moment, possibly. Yeah. Um, and I always go, I ain't gonna say I go dark, but like <laughs> sometimes you have to understand that you can, if people sense that you like them, mm -hmm. they can start to use that and manipulate that feeling or start to manipulate you in mm -hmm. a certain way. Mm -hmm. Uh, it alarms me that he asked you to post something of his. Like he asked for something from you yep. and it's a reason why he felt that way. Cause maybe he felt like you were interested in him or you gave him a reason to feel like <clears throat> you're interested in him. Yes. So what he can continue to possibly do is start playing to that mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. you know? And like I said in the last episode or two episodes ago about people who like attention, not saying that this person is that person. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'm not talking about myself. Um, but Dre, you like attention. <laughs> even if you are talking about yourself, you like attention. I'm not, I'm You're not, not an attention whore. I'm not an attention whore. Yes. I don't use people for attention true. or anything like that. True, true, true. Um, we all like it to some degree. Yeah, we all like it to some degree. Yes. And I find some of it entertaining. Yes. Um, that's fair. You want to shake on that? Yeah, that's right. we, 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 we hold we that. shake on we that. that. Right. I find it entertaining. Yes. Um, But don't take it serious. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you got to be careful because sometimes if you give somebody a hint that you like them or that you feel or you're feeling them or something like that. They'll keep pulling on or prey on that mm -hmm. feeling that you have and they'll do some things, maybe send hard eyes to you or something like that. And then two days later they say, Hey, do you mind like posting this thing for me? And it's like, you're like, Oh yeah, like I'll do that. Yeah. You know, and they'll just keep that like little thing going with you, mm -hmm. but they're not really interested in you. So remember when I said that like that. people, um, Gosh, a couple episodes ago, I said that people will like, how did I word it? Why can't I think of it right now? It was like literally on the tip of my tongue. It's like you will, you will, I could, I envision the story. I envision the people like. Yeah, you, you want to put them at their house on the kitchen table. Yes. The island, so like. in this situation, <laughs> I feel like he's attractive and he's okay. he likes to talk i mean he has a podcast so you can't be in this space if you don't feel like you have something to say yeah so he's either in front of a camera or on a microphone sharing his thoughts for sure he y'all are y'all met one time don't know what that was but you met somewhere and then you got connected on social media and you you two haven't had any conversation and then he messages you and asks you what do you do? And you said based on something that you have in your bio. So something tells me that you are potentially in a space that he finds beneficial, but he didn't want to ask for the repost right at that moment. Mm. He, he wanted to let it marinate. Maybe your bio says that you are, uh, you work for a radio station or you mm. uh, work for a marketing agency or you work in some sort of space where what he does would benefit from from that having that connection to you. Yeah. And then his next communication is, can you repost something about my podcast? Like, uh, I feel like, like you said, he's, I envision this whole thing. Like he's potentially a little bit of a, a user. He could, again, I'm, I'm always benefited a doubt. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just like, this is somebody that I'm networking with on social media because it's not all about it's not all about it's romance. not all about yeah yeah it's sure. not all about romance so maybe he doesn't see the romantic piece of it or the possibility of that but I don't know that I would just ask a stranger basically a person that I've never had a conversation I don't ask people to repost anything even my friends unless I'm like trying to focus in on something but even that I just don't I feel like you should do what feels natural to you yeah. So the fact that he asked a stranger, 
can you repost this for me? Is like, eh. They said they met in person. Did she say they met or they saw or she saw him in person? She said they met once. Once, okay, yeah. So I, I don't want to get too like dark in the sense that I think that he. It doesn't mean that he's like has super ill intention towards you. I just don't think romantically he is interested. Yeah, that's my because men will typically go after what they want, even if they exactly. only want it from a carnal, fleshy standpoint they'll still approach it even if they don't want love or anything they just want to yeah and take my approach like i said you don't have to if he hasn't given you anything like have a group kick it i don't know what it will be around but like me and my friends we do group kickets all the time and it's Mm -hmm. around all different types of things boxing matches Mm -hmm. holidays game nights nights. like Mm -hmm. it, it could be anything like and just be like hey i'm having a few people over like you know, mm-hmm. we're, this is what we're doing. It'll be food, drinks, whatever. Like, we'd love for you to come if you could make it. Like, yeah. Or feel free to come. Or if you're not doing anything Saturday night, like you should come through. Yeah, I might have some friends over. Or blah blah blah. Come, 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 kick it. Yeah, and then it's he like might jump at that opportunity. He seeing might. as though what you have in your bio, and um. But then that allows <laughs> you to spend more time with a person mm-hmm. outside of the app. Get to know him a little bit more. He gets to know you a little bit more. And just, you know, play it from there. I think I always think you have a better chance outside. And I feel like this with me in general, whether it's like I haven't been on a job interview in years, but like whether it's a job interview, mm-hmm. I haven't been on dating years, but like a date or like meeting somebody. That's why I'm always like now in my life. I don't really watch TV anymore. Mm-hmm. But I'm not working. I'm out like I'm okay. at a bar. I'm at a networking event. Like I'm socializing like because mm-hmm. I just feel like if you meet me in person. It's that a, yeah, it, it's a difference. Different you'll you'll get to experience really more who I am mm-hmm. versus like through a text message or through like an app or True. through a messaging. So I think that even if he comes to the kick it, him being able to talk to you and interact with you in person, I feel like he would get a better understanding of who you are versus through like an app and your bio and pictures. Yeah, for sure. Agreed. Well, look, a couple episodes ago. Yes. <laughs> we gave... We kind of we kind of like hap, haphazardly fell into this idea yeah. of giving bad advice that works. So mm-hmm. we figured we are just going to keep that party going. Yes. Yeah. So for Hollywood, first or you want to go first? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. You you go. Okay. <clears throat> for my bad advice that I do not suggest you take. <laughs> you met this person one time. Uh-huh. Sounds like he's local. Mm-hmm. You just need to look at his stories and be ready to pop up wherever he may be from a location standpoint and run into him. Okay. Oh, hey. You, um, at, uh, yeah. Man with the podcast. Yeah. How are you? I listen to your show. You so. Yeah. It's good to see you. That's good, right? That's, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, I don't think that that's but, that bad of bad advice you keep watching the story see what they frequent anything like that if they post a flyer or something like that and then you know friday nights or saturday night just be like ready to go out Mm -hmm. you may know they like to hang in the city or something like that or somewhere and it's just like you see where they at and it's like oh yes drop in it's like yeah yep I like it. My, <laughs> I, I'm not mad at that one. I'm not. Can't even hold you. Um, my bad advice that it, works. That see, apparently works because Dre said for some people it works. Just slide in his DM with a nude. Ooh. Mm. So for some folks, that uh, that's just getting straight to the point. Mm. You know, maybe you don't like him that much yet, but if you do, I mean that that could work. That way, you could cut through all the stuff. That is, I do, don't do that. Don't do that. What I'm going to give you a better version of that bad advice <laughs> is that what you do is you create a close friends, but you only put that person in it. So they don't know that it's just them in it. They think they're just part of your close friends. And then you could put provocative stuff in that close friends, mm. but they don't know it's just them, but it's only just them. Let me write this down. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I got a lot of game. 
but I'm not going to always give it away. <laughs> I don't want to give away the bad advice. You might as well give away but, all but the I, damn. You I, got a damn wife I to got, educate the rest of us. The hell are you keeping it for? I got a toxic game, but it's not good to <laughs> give that to people, to the people. To But that's good. That was good. That's good. I, <laughs> I ain't going to say it's bookmarked, but... If you and Rhonda's close friends, Look, to be like to be like Mona, it's bookmarked. <laughs> but that's that's the hey. version of what she said, but in a way that could really, you know, because mm-hmm. now you're giving him like <clears throat> video. Yeah, but he don't know it's just for him. Well, I think we should just go ahead on and wrap it up right <laughs> here. That's a, what a perfect way to end that. In the, uh, the the episode, that was great. That, that was great. great. Hopefully, bad Hollywood. advice that works is my favorite part of the show. <laughs> I hope it's yours too. Oh <laughs> uh, well, make sure that you follow us on Instagram at is Dre Smith and at Ronnie Cakes, who's almost at ten k. By this I time, love you it. I appreciate in. the support. Ronda's got a lot of support, man. We we getting into the cake y'all. club. Yeah, we love that. Um, and make sure to follow the Relationship Restore page. A lot of cool stuff going on yes. there. Questions. Um, I love the questions about dates. Yes. Those are my favorite. And I hope y'all are like taking notes. Like we're giving you really great date ideas. Mm-hmm. It's it's basically the cheat code. So make sure you follow Relationship Restore. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun on there. A lot of conversation and, you know, the other shows for the girls be yes. killing it and stuff like that too. So yeah, make sure you follow that page and write in us. Mm-hmm. You guys have been writing in. Uh, I want to thank a lot of you guys because like our listenership is like growing and growing and growing and growing, um, especially on the audio side. So that's like really awesome. And one thing you could do for us, you know, as us people who talk relationships and our creators, which is very free, is just subscribe to the channel. Um, Just give us a nice five star review Mm -hmm. on apple and stuff like that and that's free to you you know you don't have to pay anything it's just a few seconds and it'll mean a lot to it mean everything to us (laughs) so we appreciate that and share with your friends and stuff like that but thank you for tuning in go to relationshiprestore.com if you want to write in and give us your real love scenario and we will catch you guys later Peace. peace